video sponsored by Maple Movers. No minimum order, no subscriptions. Free shipping on every item, every day at MeepleMovers.com. Hello and welcome to Brian Scott Game. I'm Brian. Today, I've got a game called Exit the Game. Exit the Game is a 1-4 player puzzle game by Inca Brand and Marcus Brand, and published by Cosmos. In this game, players are working together to solve 10 riddles. These games are best described as escape rooms in a box. That is to say, one riddle leads to the next, and so on, until the final riddle unlocks Exit and you win. There are currently 12 Exit games in the series, with three more announced for 2019. I don't want to give away any of the riddles, so um, we're, we're going to skip the how-to and bring in my dad to see what he thinks. Okay, so Dad, what did you think of Exit the Game? So the first game that we played was two-ish years ago. Um, I guess when the very first games were nominated for the Kenner Spiel. Um, and I got really frustrated because we played a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> we did. So we started off with uh, the Secret Lab. And, um, yeah, which I think, ones. I mean, it's been a while. We don't have that copy anymore. It was a difficulty three. Um, but now that I've played a bunch of them, I think that it's really fun. And I enjoy all of the exit games. <laughs> yeah. So um, there are 12 of them. We have six of them here in front of us. And we're going to... Uh, put them in order of difficulty. So they have a difficulty level at the bottom, so it's actually pretty easy. So this is the easiest one, the Mysterious Museum. And um, so this still has a bunch of pretty hard puzzles um, that you've got to think about. And there's some cool things that you do with the materials. Um, but Yeah, the key is is that there's only one riddle at a time yeah. that you're solving. Some and, of the harder ones, you have multiple things. And in the book, you're only on one page or pages at a time. Yeah, and in other games, you have the entire journal or you book or whatever it is. You go through and mix some of them to figure put out what you're doing. Right. And you have like different amounts of riddles, so you have to put them together. That's like usually one or two cards. So, per... so we solved this one in under an hour. Mm -hmm. um, we used one clue card. Yeah. So we got nine think, stars, nine so. out of ten. Yeah. All right, the next one is the abandoned cabin. And this one and the Pharaoh's tomb has a Kenner spiel on it. Uh, Alright, so this is a two and a half out of five. And uh, we played this one and we had a lot of fun with it. <coughs> <clears throat> and it was really cool. There were a bunch of hard puzzles. Um, but we figured them all out in the end without using any hint cards. So we got uh, 10 out of 10. On Perfect this score one. on this one. Yep. Um, I will say we did solve one of the problems on accident. We did. Um, so, so we went back and and somehow we managed mm -hmm. to get the right number even though we didn't really solve mm -hmm. the puzzle as it was meant to be solved. Yeah. For some so, reason it gave us the same number as the right answer. We had an idea. Times that can and, happen. Yeah. So we had an idea and it was close. Oh, and that happened to us on the other one. We put something in wrong and we skipped to the very end and finished it in like 10 minutes. Yep. All right. You don't know anything about that one. I don't know anything about that one. You played this one with Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, so I played this one with an eight-year-old. Um, I played this one before I played these two. Um, it took us about 90 minutes to get through it. It was just the two of us. But it was um, the first one you've played since Secret Lab. Yeah, for a couple of years, yeah. Um, and we used six hints, I think. Um, but yeah, this one, the more you play, the more you can kind of see the patterns and a lot of the, the, none of the riddles are the same, but the mechanisms are similar and you kind of get used to, um, we'll open one up here. You, mm -hmm. you get used to using the decoder disc and the three numbers and the, yeah. and the looking for the three digit combos. Um, so, um, I would definitely suggest playing easier yeah, ones. First. Definitely start with the mysterious museum since that's the easiest one. And it's like, Oh, I could skip that one. I'm a smart guy. Uh, but <laughs> Really, you jump to this one. it introduces you into the series and it makes it a whole lot easier. Um, so and more enjoyable. I'll yes. Say. You don't get stuck as much. Um, so the next one is the Polar Station. So um, we yeah, haven't played haven't this one. one. Uh, this is the next one we're going to play. It's the next on our playlist. So there we go. And then the next one is the Forbidden Castle. So I played this with my friend Clark. And um, we're both intelligent people. And we both figured out a lot of them, but uh, well, I think the last clue on this one, we had like something wrong. Mm -hmm. Like this one, like our card was, here, never mind. And but he, it was wrong. Yeah, don't spoil it. He had never played one of these before, yeah. so you were kind of. And this was my first one since. Since BGG the, in yeah. 2017. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So 
That okay. one. That's a difficulty four. Yeah. I know it kind of sounds like, oh, just start with a little, but yeah, do it. Because <laughs> it introduces you into it. Yeah. And we haven't played that one yet. Yeah. So this is the Pharaoh's Tomb 4. Uh, this is going to be after the Polar Station. Okay. So let's just open this up real fast. We won't spoil anything. Yeah. Um, we'll kind of show you what's in the box. And on the back it says, this game can be played only once because you mark up, fold, and tear the game materials. Yes. All right. So this is the rule book. Uh, it kind of gives you an intro. A wonderfully mild morning in the Arctic. Just negative 15 degrees Celsius. <laughs> You are part of a large team of researchers, divided into several groups, and then it, it kind of introduces you into the story. Somehow you make poor life choices, and you always end up getting trapped somewhere. <laughs> Suddenly, the evacuation alarm goes off. You run to the door, but it's already locked. Right, so this kind of sets up yeah. the scenario, kind of goes into what is in the box and how to play. Yeah. So it shows you um, kind of the things in here. There's the decoder wheel uh, here. I'm going to explain that in a minute. And then there's uh, the cards, so you have clue cards. And then you have uh, the clue and solution, so you don't want to use those. Those take down your score. And then you have the riddles and the answers that you go through. Um, and then it also kind of shows you how to play, how to go through it, and then when to pull out riddle cards. So, and then it explains what I'm about to tell you in a little bit. And then a score back there. So, you have the decoder wheel, and there's ten symbols on here. Oh, that's wrong in the intro. Well, what I just said was that there's ten riddles, so there's actually eleven. So there's 10 on here, then there's also the hourglass symbol, which is solved elsewhere. In some cases. In some of them. Not all of them. Okay. This one had one. That one had one. Mm. I, I don't know, I don't I don't know about the here. others. Um, oh, yeah, it was the very first one in this one. Okay, yeah, so there, there's 11. Um, the decoder wheel, so what you do is, um, if we're solving the circle, um, you line up the numbers, and then it says, go to riddle card number one. Uh, go to answer card number one, and then if it's wrong, it has a big X on it. And then if it's if it could be right, there's a little grid with um, different places. There's a page in here on all of them where it has this picture your, where you're at, your environment, and then it has the symbols on different objects like the table or the safe, and that's how you know which one you're trying to open. So it says where is this symbol, and then if you get it, so it'll tell you to go to yeah. another card, and then that'll tell you to oh, reveal new riddles and things like that. Yeah. Um, and if it's wrong again, then it's an X. Yep. And then you can also do little things like this one has line up all those. Yeah, but you don't know what that is. And I don't know. It could be wrong. Maybe you're supposed to put it over by the circle. So every every game starts with a journal, some sort of clue. But don't um, open it. Yeah. But these are things like you said, maps, um, other sheets of paper that you'll tear up um, and fold and do all sorts of things with. Yeah, like this one, there's this tore up pieces and... The folded one. Don't really spoil anything. <laughs> so, um, what did you like most about the Exit game, the series? Um, I thought they did a really good job of capturing like the feel that you're in an escape room. Because I, I have done two escape rooms. And, yeah, you're pressed for the time. And then um, the hints are actually really similar to what they do. Oh, actual. okay. Um, like, hey, you do this. And you're like, okay. Okay. What I really liked is, like like I said, we played uh, one, two, three, four, and you played that one five, mm -hmm. and none of them have the same riddles in them at all. So they yeah. all use different things, um, different ways to solve the riddles, different clues. Um, so really, really innovative. Um, they really make you think. Yeah. That's what I liked about it. They're all different. And then this one had a decoder wheel with these little... Keys on it, so you're not doing numbers like the other one. This one is keys, and you're mm -hmm. putting together these keys. The rest of them, I think, this one has like this one had, starfish and symbols. yeah, this one has yeah. symbols that you're you know pirate hook and the doubloon and things like that. There. And then this one has hieroglyphs and stuff. And then the rest of them, I think, are numbers and colors. Yeah. This one has a cool color element. Yeah, so that they're all very different, even yep. though they're the same idea. So who would like exit games? Do you think? Uh, I think that people who like exit games and don't want to lose all of their money going to actual escape rooms. <laughs> so these are awesome. They're a really good um, substitute for exit, um, well, escape rooms, and they're a whole lot cheaper. Yeah, yeah, they're um, and there's more. 10, like if you go to an actual 10, escape room, they've only got like five or six um, escape rooms. Here you get twelve at your local game store. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, I was going to say, people who like um, to solve puzzles and riddles, 
um, very analytical people. Um, this is a cooperative game, so if even if maybe you're not, you can still kind of feel a part of the, the group. Um, and everybody contributes. Like we did um, one of them with Lincoln. He probably helped a lot there. Yeah, and everybody comes at a, a problem at a little bit different angle, and so it actually mm-hmm. helps to have different viewpoints um, all staring at something because some people come up, you know, they just think differently. Yeah. Um, so it really works well. Um, it says one to four, but there really is, I guess, no maximum. Um, although you might not feel like you're helping out if there's yeah. 20 people. Probably more fun with <laughs> four or less. So um, there's a couple other exit games out there. There's Unlock um, that we actually have not played. Mm-hmm. We've played a lot of Exit, and then there's Deckscape, which is a pure deck card, uh, card deck of cards, is what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can replay that one over and over. Um, I think I prefer Exit, um, but like I said, we haven't played Unlock yet. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember playing Deckscape, but I also we have no they're card ventures, but that's like a. Um, oh yeah, like that's a choose, a, your own choose adventure. an adventure. It's kind of for family gaming. Yeah, yeah. not so much the Exit uh, escape room type feel. Yeah. Uh, so that's Exit the game. Um, there's six here. There's six more that we don't have. Um, by Cosmos. Thank you for watching. Brian's Got Game. Please like us on our Facebook page. Says, send us a tweet at Brian's Got Game. Visit our webpage, Brian's Got Game.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Brian, this is my dad, and I'll see you next time.